Okay, so um, if you've been using the GET for a while, you might notice it does have quite a few bugs and a um, few issues and all the rest of it. Um, however, there is a tool called the GET Extender, um, and basically it will basically make it much more of a stable platform. Um, it will also, you know, uh, you'll notice it will just run a lot smoother as well. Like the viewport will go from like choppy to running it, uh, you know, you your computer's regular frame rate for New Vegas and um, you know windows that are normally um, not appearing correctly will now appear perfectly fine things to that sort of nature so it's definitely a useful tool however there are quite a few things you have to do beforehand before you can actually get it to um, run perfectly fine so the first thing you'll need is the Fallout New Vegas, uh, Fallout New Vegas uh, 4 gigabyte patcher now this is not the executable where you run it and then it opens the game instead this one is the one where you run the patch and it will patch the exe file and if you don't know what this is it'll basically um, make Fallout New Vegas use 4 gigabytes of RAM or up to 4 gigabytes of RAM I should say as opposed to the regular two gigabytes which it's limited at by default so you want to download that and I'll just run you through the process just so obviously you're not in the dark um, and then just go to your Fallout New Vegas file open this up and you'll have two files here and you'll just want to drag them directly into the Fallout New Vegas file ignore the modded part I've just renamed this because this is um, you know just where I uh, do my uh, my, my projects. Um, simply just run this and you get this here. As you can see mine's already patched, yeah, as to be expected. Um, but for you it'll say um, you know, patching and then it will be patched. Alright, and then obviously you can just delete that um, patch because you don't need it anymore. Okay, so that's the first tool. The second tool you'll need is the, the NVSE or the New Vegas Script Extender. Uh, chances are you already have it, but um, obviously it's a um, tool that will run on uh, the NVSE. So download the stable version, that's what I'd recommend anyway. Uh, I'm not too sure about the unsupported release, but yeah, generally speaking, we want to use this one. Uh, open this up here, and literally same thing, drag all this in here, and obviously it'll ask me if I want to replace a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, if you get that, then obviously it's already installed. If not, don't worry, I'm just going to skip this. And lastly, we can now move on to the GEC extender itself. So the first thing you want to download is this optional file here. Um, so download that and get that there. And then we're going to jump back in. And you want just the most recent release. The reason why I recommend the GEC extender over the GEC power up is because it's still receiving updates as of this video anyway, uh, fairly recently. Um, you know, usually there's new things added every other day, so, well, every other month, really, but, yeah, so make sure you've got NVSE, and we're going to download that one as well. Um, so the first thing I want to do is the 4 gigabyte and NVSE patcher, so, once again, drag this into the folder where you got Fallout New Vegas. Uh, obviously, I've already got a fair bit of stuff in here, so don't worry about that message popping up. Um, and then when it says get nv patch.exe, double click that. As you can see, mine's already patched, but yours it will do the patch for you. Uh, essentially, this just makes the get use 4 gigs as well. Um, now we can get rid of that one. And lastly, we can install the get extender. So this one, you'll want to go into data and then obviously drag it straight into the NVSC file. Now, there are a few settings you could play with, so I'm going to go into plugins, and you can see here there's a file called getextender.ini, and here you can basically turn things on and off, and generally speaking, these default settings are perfectly fine. Uh, the only thing you might want to change is the script here. Um, I've actually noticed mine's a little bit too hard to read because I have a slightly high res monitor, so I'm just going to change it up to 16. And obviously, if you don't like the console's font um, in the script editor, then you know you can change that there and it'll use whatever uh, system fonts you got installed. So I just go to fonts. Um, I say call Vetica. That's probably a bad idea. And save that. And obviously, you've got the things like font weight and things like that. And the really nice thing about this as well is somewhere in here. Um, or would it be um, enable spell checker is zero so if you've ever done any sort of dialogue related things uh, every time you click off of the dialogue box it will always say the spelling errors which there's not it now gets rid of it it is brilliant it also ignores NAM files which is great um, there's also some speed hacks so basically when you're using the the window 
um, you know, the, the preview window, uh, rather than feeling choppy like it does in the default GEC, it will now just run smooth. So, 1001 reasons why I'd recommend installing this. Um, obviously, I did have a conversation with someone yesterday who basically couldn't open a uh, ESP file, and obviously installing this fixed it, and then um, everything was all rosy and dandy. Now, um, I'm pretty sure just by running the GEC as it is, everything should be fine and it should load the NVSE with it. But um, if the NVSE patcher didn't work, um, the fix for that would be just right click the NVSE loader. Go to, oh, sorry, hang on before we go to properties. Uh, you want to uh, send to desktop as a shortcut. And you see this file here. We're going to call this uh, GEC. Um, send the NVSC. and then you want to go into the properties and at this one here right at the end you just want to put space dash and sorry start again space dash editor and hit apply okay and then when you run it you now know the, the uh, NVSC is 100% loaded. I'm 99% sure it's perfectly fine without having to do that, but just in case you're having issues with NVSC not working, just, just do that, yeah. All right, so that's everything. Um, if you found this useful, um, please leave a like. Uh, obviously, if you have any questions, um, you know, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And um, that's pretty much it.